For many people in Central Texas, scraps of memories may be all that remain as the land starts to dry out from last week's storms. Volunteers in Wimberley have gathered thousands of family photographs washed away in the debris. As Alicia Inns shows us, now all they need is for people to come claim them. I mean, this person could be close to, to 70 years old now. The saying goes, a picture. And uh, this is a great picture of an Army officer here. Is worth a thousand words. But the sight of this room, scattered with thousands of memories, is enough to leave someone speechless. William Bowman is a teacher at the Catherine Ann Porter School in Wimberley. This week, he's found another calling to reunite people with family photographs strewn about in the storm surge. Like a lot of family vacations, family reunions, weddings seem to be the biggest ones, uh, ski trips, so many memories. Search crews finding those memories scattered along the riverbanks, torn, waterlogged, and speckled with clumps of mud. I know pictures mean a lot to people. Perhaps now maybe some can get a piece of their livelihood back. Memories which might be all they have left. And, and that's part of the reason I'm here. If, if a few people can, can find a few of those memories, you know, it, it's all worth it to us. Alicia Inns, KXAN News. What a good deed they're doing. The pictures will stay at the Catherine Ann Porter School for another few weeks. Those that are collected will move into archive files at the Wimberley Library. And here's something that's popped up in just the last several days. Some people are posting photos of valuable or sentimental items they have found here on the Wimberley Flood Facebook page. If you're missing something, you might try looking there as well. We told you last week UT students plan to offer workshops to help flood victims restore their treasures. They say people should freeze damaged things like wet papers, photographs, and books. UT's School of Information has offered about a half dozen salvage sessions over the last week. However, a lot of the help they've been providing has been over the phone or by email. If you'd like to connect with them, we have set up a link with this story on KXAN.com.